Hello everyone, welcome to Beaver Academy. I'm so excited to meet you with another interesting offensive security tutorial. In this video, I'm going to demonstrate how to crack hash with hashcat a practical pen testing guide. This ethical hacking video will provide a valuable insight and guide you through the best practices to enhance your knowledge. Disclaimer, this video is purely for education and information purpose. I don't encourage any malicious or harmful activity. I'm not responsible for any misuse or damage resulting from the information shared in this video. You are solely responsible for your action and we use this knowledge responsibly and ethically. Please note that unauthorization hacking or accessing other systems or network is strictly prohibited and illegal. Even this videos I have demonstrated ethical hacking practical in my lab environment. Hacking is the one of the pillar of cybersecurity. People usually get confused with hash and encryption. A simple difference is that hash data is reversible. Encrypted data can be reversed using a key. This is why applications like Telegram, WhatsApp use encryptions while passwords are hashes. Hashcat is a password recovery tool that helps break complex password hashes. Basically, this tool works with a GPU. Okay. Hashcat comes with a pre-installed in Kali and Parrot OS. I'm going to demonstrate using a two use case. First use case is how to crack a hash of the password protected 7c file. And second one is how to crack the hashes. Basically, you got the crack hashes from the uh, Windows machines or SQL database or any wherever from there you have got it. So using that hash signature, I'm just going to show how you are going to derive the password. So to do that, let's go and continue it. First of all, we have to discuss about the syntax. So syntax is hashcat hyphen m value hyphen a value hash file word list. So let's discuss syntax. We have a two flags, hyphen m and hyphen a. The hyphen m, uh, let me make it bigger. So hyphen m flag is used to specifically the hash type. So there are a lot of hash types will be there. For example, seven zip is there. Uh, we will be collecting hash file because you know to know what what key is used to encrypt those things. So if you see that there are hash types, attack modes, these are the syntax are there. So let me scroll down a little bit down. So you will get the hash values. Uh, so these are the hash values. You see that hash value modes are 500. Uh, so for MD, MD4, it is 900. Uh, seven zip is there. Veracrypt is there. Uh, Office 365. There are a lot. The list is keep goes on it. So if you see that the list is keeps goes on it. See. Uh, so hash signatures are there. These are the signatures. Basically, these are the key using that the password has been encrypted. So we until we don't know the right key, we cannot able to decrypt the password hash signatures over there. You see that list is keep going on it. Office 65, plain text, telegram desktops. Uh, there are a lot. It's scope, even blockchains, and there is a lot. Uh, so these are the things over there. So now what we'll do is we'll go and see the second flag is over there. So the next flag is hyphen A. So hyphen A is nothing but it is an attack mode. So what kind of attack mode? So there are uh, five attack modes are available in the hashcat. So we will go and see one by one what is those things. Uh, so I'm just give a quick glance about it, uh, attack value hyphen A about it. So uh, so the value is uh, zero. These are the things state, combination, brute force, hybrid word list plus mask, hybrid mask plus word list associations. So there are the state is nothing but it is just a combination. It's giving a whatever the sequence you have given it. It will go in that way and gives a combination. Combination is nothing but it gives you a password like uh, number, strings, values, and those combinations will be two. Brute force is different combinations will be trying with the sequence of different sequence will be trying over there. Uh, hybrid whitelist and masker same things you can create your own things over there so let's go to the demo and let's try to do the run uh, so second one is hash file so this is the hash file what your the verifier file we have created so hash signatures might be you got it from the uh, from the winrar or from the hash signatures from the sql database or whatever so that hash file whatever you got it hash file you have to put it over there the second the, the last one is word list so word list is a list of commonly used terms this can be a password word list username user list subdomain word list and so on so the popular word list is rocky.txt it contained a list of commonly used password and popular among the pen tester you can find the word rocky word list under user share word list in kali linux 
and it is available in the Parrot OS as well. In case if you want to create your own word list, uh, you can do it uh, using a tool called Crunch. You can create a different your own word list and you can uh, do it over there. So now we will go to the use case one. So the, in this use case, I'm going to crack a Hashcat password protected 7 zip file. So if you see that this is a normal file, a uh, demo file.txt, this is a, something I have created for this demo purpose. So uh, what I'll do is let me go and encrypt this one. So, uh, so 7zip is actually comes with it, create archive. So let's go and select 7zip. 7zip, uh, yes, it's there. And go to the other option. Uh, I'm giving a super simple password, password, password. So I have given, let me, Create so the file is actually created. It is a password protected. Let me go and delete it uh, because when I extract it, this time will be there. So the file is now ready. So now what I have to do is so I'm going to find a password for this one. So to do that, let me go to the terminal. So first step is um, I have the file. So I doesn't know what is the file type or those things. For example, in this case, I know seven zip, but in the real time, I don't know what is the file size, a file name of it. Then how I can able to find the mode hash mode of it so to do that let me show you how to get the uh, file what kind of file it is and so so to do that simple uh is a file okay so let me what i'll do is file uh demo dot file so if you see that this file is actually created in a 7 zip file so now i know what is this file type and it give me a clarity on that one so this is how you, you can you can use this command called file and you can so now i have idea about it this is a 7 zip file so now what I have to do is it's uh, so I have to use a seven zip uh, hash mode values only. So let me go and uh, first of all we have to get the hash signature of this file. So to do that we will uh, first of all let me try to open this file and see how it is uh, seven zip and hash password. So if you see it is asking prompting for the password. Now, unfortunately I don't have a password. So let me give it as a blank and let me enter it and see what is comes over there. So if I click it enter. Uh, so the password see it's giving an error message so unfortunately i enabled to open this file so now i have to find the password so let me clear it uh, so let me then now what i'm going to do is now i'm going to find the hash value of this uh, file so to do that the command is simple so i'm going to use a tool called john the ripper so the john the ripper is give, going to give me the hash value of this file so the command is sudo 7 zip to john and the file name uh, the basically demo file dot text one and i'm going to convert output uh, hash file dot txt so what is actually i'm going to do is uh, what are the hash signature create a file called hash file dot txt and uh, paste the hash value in this file okay so let me i think that there's a type okay so now go let me go and enter it so if you see that the file actually created, let me do ls, you can see the file actually created cat hash file dot txt. So you see that the file is actually created. So the hash value I have uh, exported over there. So now I do need to make a, some change. So sudo nano demo file, sorry, hash file dot txt. And anything before the dollar sign, I have to remove it. So I don't want the file name uh, extensions. And even I don't want this corner. So from here, I have to leave it as it. So let me go and save it. Control Oh, control x it's okay so now if you see cat again flash file dot text you see the difference so there is the difference is uh, demo dot i have removed this file and now it is ready for the things over there so let me go and clear it okay so now sudo uh, the command hash cat hyphen m so here the syntax is hash cat hyphen m so the value we have to get it over there so hyphen m and value to get it over there i'm just going to the hashcat wiki so you don't need to worry about it i'll be giving the link in the description and the, all the commands you can find it in the description so you don't need to worry about it so uh, i'll be giving all that in the descriptions over there so now what i have to do is now i have to go and find the search for seven zips so seven zip uh, because i need to find the value of the hash mode seven uh, zip uh, let me see okay uh, no, uh, seven I can see. Yeah. So if you see that the mode value is one one six zero zero. So now I have to. I got the mode value. So let me go to the terminal. Uh, hyphen m one six zero. Let me reconfirm it. I think yeah. One more zero. I have to add it. Okay, zero. 
and uh, the next syntax is hyphen a the value so basically the attack mode space hyphen a attack mode what i'm going to use is just normal uh, default mode so zero and the hash file what i have collected is the hash file so in this my case hash file dot txt that is where we have uh, extracted the hash right so and the word list i have created a small word list which is something like i have created uh, by myself a simple word list so that uh, for the disk demonstration because if i start using a rocku.txt it's going to be leave a lot so if you see that there is a simple password i have created password password one three admin one two three so it's a simple one uh, for this demonstration because i don't want the demo to be go longer so to make it very simple i have created one so now here i have to give the word list dot txt one so just ensure that uh, since i am in the same directory so i'm just giving the select one otherwise if you are in a different directory you have to give the complete path uh, for it otherwise it will not work you will not get the results over there so now it is ready so now let go and launch it enter so the hash cat is started so it will take some time uh, basically it will do a different combinations and do spells so once it is cracked uh, we will we will be will able to see the passwords what is the password of it so let's say wait let wait for some more time and hopefully we will see in this in some time let's see um, see that the password is actually cracked uh, so it tried the i choose the file name is word.list.txt that is the file and it contains the six password uh, and it took a, like this much of seconds and this is what because since it is a word list i have given it's very small so that is why it is quicker if it is something like uh, you give a longer word list and complex password it will take a longer time to uh, extract and get the passwords so if you see that it is actually the status says is cracked so it's got the password so now how to get the password we will go and show you so let me clear it use the same command only thing is uh, give a space hyphen hyphen show so this will give you the password of it so if you see that uh, the this hash value uh, the password is password uh, i think i just uh, so use this command you will get it over there i think uh, by mistakenly i just expanded the screen so it's not visible but yeah definitely you can you can see that one so what i will do is let me try to open the file again and let me paste the file so password i have got it so seven zip uh, hyphen x and demo file dot txt site and the password what i have to i just let me copy as a proof of concept the password i'm just copying it and right click and paste the clipboard uh, sorry for it that actually screen size uh, so you see that i have opened it if you see that the demo file.txt is there so this is a file which i have uh, if you remember i have this is the file i have uh, zip it and um, i just deleted now i have this file so this is how hackers usually or during your penetration testing you can download a some file and you can do it so now we'll go and see the second use case so in the second use case what we have to go is so somewhere the hacker got a hash signature from the windows or sql database or somewhere wherever from the application or Linux server, somehow the hacker got the access over there, you, or you, your penetration testing during got it. So now I'm going to show you how to uh, those hash files to be converted. To do that, let me go to the cyber chef. Uh, so I'm just creating a simple thing as password. Uh, and I'm going to use a MD5. So MD5 is usually the hash one. I'm just going to use this. Uh, so if you see that the file is actually now, it's, this is the hash value. So let me go and copy and create a file and let me go to the terminal sudo nano manual hash dot txt uh, let me save this file uh, so let me paste this clipboard okay so control o control x so the file is shaped so let me cat manual dot hash so if you see that the file is actually ready so now i have a hash, uh, hash signature but uh, so i don't know that uh, uh, what is the hash signatures over there so i need to get the hash mode of it so to do that uh, uh, to i am going to use a one tool called hash identifier so basically this hash identifier will help me to figure out what the hash value so basically i got the hash value but i don't know what is the hash value is for it then only i can able to find the hash mode and use the right to things right so you, i'm going to use a hash identifier so let me go and uh, go to the tool uh, file let me know new tab so cat documents and uh, cat manual hash so this is the one i let me copy it and uh, let me paste it so yes so if you see that the signature the hash which what identified is mt5 so now i know what is the hash value so now only thing is i need to go and define what is the hash mode value for mt5 so let me again let me clear it uh, type the command uh, sudo hash cat 
hyphen m so now i need to go and find the what is the value of for md5 so to do that let me go to the website uh, and let me search for md5 uh, md5 okay so md5 if you see that the hash mode is zero so okay so now what i'll do let me go to the terminal and type zero hyphen a attack mode same i'm just going to use it here in this case the hash is manual hash sorry for the typo manual hash dot and the word list same word list i'm going to use it nothing there is no change so let me enter it and it will prompt you for the password so again it has started so let this time at least let me make it very small so that you will be getting the visibility uh, so okay so let me show now the password has been cracked let me give a show so if you see that for this hash this is a password so last time also it will be like but unfortunately due to the screen size uh, it is actually that that last one is got mine. so for this hash value the password is password so there's a proof right so same thing in the cyber chef this is what we have derived so this is how the hacker usually cracking the passwords and uh, they are getting the uh, have passwords from the hash so it's very simple you can use this hashcat so hashcat is a, as i said it's a very powerful and offensive security tool so this is how the hackers actually getting the passwords from the hash uh, or any password protected files they are getting the passwords and they are opening during their uh, hacking and also it has a penetration tester red team or something else you can do the same practice and just I hope this tutorial gave a little bit more clarity. Thank you all for joining me today in this exciting session. I hope you found the content informative. If you enjoyed this video and if you are interested in viewing more content like this, please let me know in the comment below. Your feedback is essential for shaping the future of this channel. Ensure to subscribe and hit the notification bell to stay updated on upcoming video. Also feel free to share this video with others who might find it interesting. If you have any questions or need further clarification about anything show in this video don't hesitate to reach out to me via discord lastly a big thank you to all my subscriber your encouragement keep me motivated to create more valuable content for you stay safe stay curious see you soon with another interesting video bye for now take care